What's good, Edison players? Today we're going to be talking about the new sleeper best deck of the format. That's right, it's the Frost and Flame Dragon deck. If you uh, saw the thumbnail, you should already know. But, uh, well, what is Frost and Flame Dragon? Think Chaos Sorcerer, then aim lower. Like, like way lower. Uh, it's summoning condition is that you must banish a fire and two waters from your graveyard. And it can only be special summoned in this way. Uh, and its effect is once per turn, you can discard one card to destroy a monster on the field. Uh, so it hits face downs, which is a pro, uh, over Chaos Sorcerer. You have to discard, which is a con. Its summoning condition is a massive con. Uh, but it can attack the turn that it uses its effect, which is a, a pro. But in general, the cons pretty clearly outweigh the pros on this card. However, I decided to challenge myself and uh, build a deck around it anyway. And this abomination that you are staring at is the current iter iteration of that. So uh, let's just go over the card by card really quick. So I play Gores and Trag. I play these in pretty much everything. I think they're both great. Uh, two Frost and Flame. Three is too many. You will brick on it. I mean, you will brick on it at two still, but three is way worse. Uh, we play the Diva package. Uh, it's just a quick way to put... Uh, two waters in the grave and it also just sort of uh fits with the deck a lot so yeah we're playing this kind of diva hero thing which is uh very useful for getting the materials in the graveyard and also synergizes with the deck's very aggro sort of strategy because um frost and flame the only thing this really is good for in terms of its advantage over sork is that you can like drop it kill a guy and then attack so we're gonna be trying to OTK a lot and make big pushes. Uh, we have one ocean. We need another water, so it's a searchable water, which is nice. We play Stratos and the Mallies to go with the, the Divas. I play Arma Plague as well because uh, we play uh, the Mallies, and it's a searchable by Rhoda, and uh, level 2 tuners are quite good in here because we can drop a bunch of 6s on the board. Then for our fires, uh, I went with the Volcanic Package. Fro Frost and Flame requiring you to discard means we need a lot of discard fodder. So a lot of the deck is built around uh, discarding to remove stuff. So we, we have a bunch of discard traps and we have shells and stuff. And Rocket's also an instant plus one, as is Stratos. Uh, and then we also play Sangan Trooper, just as like extra ways of getting to... I mean, you need Sangan to get to D.Va, because D.Va's really the key to the deck, and uh, Trooper can put stuff in the graveyard. There's quite a few uh, high-impact mills. You can mill Material for Frost and Flame, you can mill Plague, Mally, you can mill Shell. Uh, so that's good. Rhoda, obviously amazing in here. We play Foolish, it gets to Shell, it gets to Plague, it gets to Mally. Future Fusion uh, fills up our graveyard, and uh, obviously, uh, to make App Zero, we have Double Miracle. Playing three of this just conflicts too much, uh, in my opinion, so I'm trying to, because we just, uh, we only have so many waters in here, so. Two, I think, is the, the optimal ratio if you want to play this weird cope list that's running Frost and Flame Track. Uh, Brain Con, just amazing card, Storm, MST, Staples. Play this to search off Rocket, return from the different dimension. Uh, this is one of the big reasons to, to play this list. Obviously, Frost and Flame is amazing with this card, because if you have it set up, you can basically just banish three guys for free and then make big pushes for game with this. Return is such an insane card in Edison format. It's basically an auto-win in a ton of situations if you draw it and you have the setup. So, Dust Shoot, Broken, Mirror, Torrential, Judgment, Staples. And then, as I mentioned before, we're on the discard traps because play a ton of fodder. So, I'm trying four right now. I played like five before, and I felt like that was a little bit too many. So, I think this is probably about optimal, but I could see playing five discard traps. Uh, the side deck's just like standard stuff, and so is the extra mostly. The only like standout things are we're playing like this and this so we can get to more fire waters. So, yeah, this is basically the deck. Um, I'm going to be playing a couple matches with it, and we'll just see how we do. All right, so we've got a match here. Let's pick Rock, I guess. Nope. Wasn't the choice. All right, what do we think? What do we think? Rock again? 
I think rock again. Yeah, let's go, man. All right. So we're going to go first. Let's see how we open here. Okay, this is a hand that was made a lot worse by top decking this. Guess we just go for Diva? Seems like the only play we have. We'll run out the Diva. We'll go... Uh, Cataster probably is the right move. Okay, it's going to be setting. We're cool with that. What about Black Rose in here? It's not necessarily a terrible option. I can see it. Let's go for it. Alright, he's got compulsory me. I think we just hit in then. Spirit Reaper. Well, that's kind of scary. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll rip the Mally, though. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take 11. I think we're gonna hold the Gores here. Come on, hit Mally. Just roll a dice, buddy. Middle card. Blaze Accelerator. Mid phase. We'll draw. Okay, that's a reasonable draw. I'm a fan of this. So we get bottomless to whatever. We get this to our hand. Uh, well, we can't make Brio now, but we can still just kill this whole field. Which is what we're gonna do. We'll pay another 500, get another one. Uh, pass the turn. So he's just going to pass. I think we'll just set the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast and pass. We don't really have a lot going on here. If we can get our Maui into Grave, that's awesome. So, Warrior Lady. That's interesting. I wonder what this deck is. We're going to end phase, hit the back row. So, yeah, I think Plague stacking the shell. We can make a level 8 play, play here. Let's see, how do I want to do this, though? We can go... I think we just need to out this freaking warrior lady. It's the, it's the main issue, and the cleanest way to do that is with Dark End. And I want damage, so let's go for the Miracle. Banish the Diva, just in case we draw RFDD. And now we're in a really good spot, I think. I'm not sure what my opponent's on. I thought it was like some kind of zombie deck at first, but... Definitely seems like something different if he's on Warrior Lady. Oh shit, I forgot to... Oh, this is a big fuck up. Ah, that was so stupid. I forgot to pay to add shell. Um. Well, the Gores is kind of useless so long as Blaze Accelerator's here, so I think we can just kill the Gores. Because Dark End's really valuable if we can keep it around. Uh. Here we're going to switch the. Well, first we're going to pay the 500 for this shell so I don't draw it. Uh, 
I think we switch the zero. Play around mirror. If there's a mirror, I think he'll 100% fire it to prevent himself from losing more monsters. Okay, so he didn't. We have judgment for defense here, which is really nice. All right, he scoops. Well, siding for this is going to be tough because I've got no clue <laughs> what he's on. I know it plays Warrior Lady Reaper. Some, like, weird chaos thing. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm tempted to just not side here, like, honestly. Uh, what to bring in? What to bring in? Like, I don't know. I just have no clue what they're on. It's just, like, cards. I... <laughs> I didn't really get much of an idea of what it was in game one, so let's just let's just see what happens. We draw a reasonably good hand here, I think. <laughs> we could send malicious. We have plague follow up. Okay, they play a lore. Yeah, I don't know. So far, all I've seen is like good stuff, light and dark monsters. Okay, they banish Gale, summon Thunder King. Well, we can out this T King with Brain Con potentially. I think it's worth going for it, maybe. Let's hit for 19. I think we summon the plague. And we sink off. Let's just make... Goyo... And I think that's going to be it for this turn. Man, this is a perplexing deck I'm up against. Is it like stun or something? But the Reaper seems weird. Okay, maybe it is stun. Uh, we got to think about this. I think we just dropped Dragodia. <laughs> so there's going to be nothing in main two? Alrighty then. Find a Sangan. It's not... Oh, well, we can just steal Banisher, right? I think we might as well go for it. Hmm. Oh, really? Oh, is this send for cost? Shoot. Let me double check the text of this. Yeah, hold on. I, is this cost? I think it's cost. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, in this case, I have to think. I feel like it's probably not a torrential set. So I think I'm good to just play and do it. But maybe I'll get punished. I don't know. Okay, it was a torrential. I think we're okay with that. It's actually just a two for two trade, right? So here, we're just gonna set the torrential. So they set a monster. It's a okay with me. I really want to get the Sangan out of my hand. Well, let's think actually. We could get really aggressive with, like, a Brianac or something. But we could also just make Dark End, I think. Which is the preferable play. Uh, let's go Arma, send Mally. This is kind of what we were hoping to set up with our turn one hand here. I think this will be difficult. To... They just left? Oh, no, wait. It's probably DB lag. Kind of looks like DB lag. Well, let's see if they come back. <laughs> I don't know. We were going to be in a really, really strong spot here. Uh, we we're going to darken, kill their guy, hit in. If it's anything besides Gores, I think we we just win from that point. Maybe they have Gores again. I don't know. 
we would have judgment backing up whatever we do. So hopefully they come back. I've got 45 seconds, so. If not, I guess I can try to play another match. I don't know if I, I should or not. Well, we'll wait for them. We'll see if they come back. But it does not seem like they are. If they do come back, it will be a squeaker. 10 seconds. Well, looks like we might just be winning this one by default, huh? That's a shame. I kind of wanted to play out this turn, or this duel. Yeah, they're gone. All right, I guess we can try for another. What do we think? Go for another? Uh, we'll go classic, Edison, wait. Yo, wait, wait, I got a face frog slicer. Come on. Oh, you know what? He might be testing with one of my teammates. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. Yeah, man. No, I don't want to watch. Why would you choose someone else and not me, frog slicer? Jerk. All right. Guess he doesn't want to be in the video. We're just going to duel rando then. All right, we got someone here. We'll say GL. All right, same strategy, rock again. Two for two on, on just spamming rock. Let's go. 42 card deck. Interesting. Um, we open a somewhat mediocre hand. We can go card trooper, set torrential behind it. It's maybe okay. This is kind of a, just a better going second hand. Maybe just set Torrential Pass? I really like having Card Trooper to like try to deal with something if they put a monster on the board. Maybe set MST Pass? I don't know, I have no clue what they're on. You know what, we'll do the... We'll just we'll just do this play. Let's just see what we mill. Put a water down there. It's whatever. We'll set the torrential. Well, we've kind of given away the sauce here, haven't we? Uh, we have to torrential that. Unfortunate. Man, I keep drawing this. Okay, it's gadgets. We have a water, we don't have a hero. Hmm. Thinking about just spacing this. I think it's what I'm gonna do. Maybe this is a bit premature to be just playing MST. All right, it was a mirror. I think I want to get my shells in rotation. So I'm going to do that. Just want to thin out our deck of bad cards, you know? Um, and then we'll set the Plague Spreader and end our turn. So presumably another gadget's coming. There's a yellow. They hit over my plague. Man, they've just got a handful of monsters, I guess. So, let's see. I think we stack, then use the shell. Seems like a logical play. Um, I kind of want to make Brio just to, uh, no. Yeah, I think Goyo take it's probably better. I wish we had a hero right now. That's what I wish. 
If I get Brio, that's another water for Frost and Flame at least, but I think Goyo is the way to go. So we're just going to go Goyo. They should take 15. I'll set the Geki break. It's kind of risky here, but I feel like I want something to answer a fortress. And if they have the storm, they have the storm. You know, sometimes you just gotta acknowledge that. Okay, that's really bad. That's really bad. Okay, it's just, you know what? They're not playing Machina gadgets. They're playing stun gadgets. So I think we're fine still. Oh, that's so good. We get a hero and play. I could take this Doom Cow. Oh, it can't be special. Um, good thing I didn't overlook that. They're kind of getting uh, bad luck here, just not seeing any back row, because my my draws have not been that great. Uh, I can just kill this Doom Cow with Shell, right? The question is. I mean, I might as well drop Ab Zero at this point, right? So we'll go. Do we want to get the Mali out? I think we do. Uh, yes, I do. I do not have two shells in hand. Yeah, uh, I probably just confused him because I stacked for the plague the other turn. Yeah, I think I think just playing the miracle now. Just get really aggro. We know they're kind of on an awkward brick hand. So might as well go for it. Okay, we'll attack with the smaller one first. Attack with the... Okay, they're just taking it all. I mean, it's difficult for me to see how they could play out of this, given that they just have not had any spell traps. Okay, they have Brain. That's really good. All right, we're in an awkward spot now. We're really low on life. They're setting because they're scared. I find ta trap does shoot. Should I keep this in hand? Uh, wait, let's get the other shell. Do not want to forget that. Alright, this is a, hmm, see the Caius is more threatening here, I think, uh, but we're kind of low and we don't want them just summoning gadgets and hitting in. I think the gadget, they main deck knock, which is a little scary. We need to find like a diva. Okay, they have the Compulse now to back themselves up. All right, well, they have to use it, right? And their hand is Knock Caius and an unknown card. So this is probably gonna have to go to defense unless they drew something else, which they did. And this is a painful game one. We're gonna top deck brain control or something too. Now that we're sub 800. Okay, they go AFD. 
Oh, that's so bad. Yeah, we have to scoop it up here. Man, we really should have won that one. That was really unlucky. Okay, what do we side here? I I think we can probably win in these games, though. Just got to bring it back game two and three. Play better. Uh, bring in Dust Tornado. Bring in Mind Crush. Just every time they had to have it, they had it that game. It was annoying. They had the Storm and the Brain Con. Uh, what do we want to bring out? I usually bring out these and, and probably this. Uh, let's see. This card's really mediocre, I think. This is going to be, like, too slow to set up. This kind of matchup. Alright, so what do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We can maybe not bring this in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We need one more. Who do we want to cut? Uh, these traps are really bad. The discard traps, in general, are, I think, not very good in this matchup. Uh... I might just want to go with these cards. Yeah, let's do this. Alright. We know they're on knock. God, we keep drawing this card with Rocket. Holy shit. It's so bad. Alright, maybe they'll go for, like, knock attack directly into Gores, and we can just, like, kill them from there. Yeah, let's just set Snowman. Sidra? Gadget. Bold choice. <laughs> I guess they're gonna fortress their own field in main two? Is that the plan? Uh... I think we hit the Sidra. This way we can drop Gores. Alright, one back row. What are the chances it's torrential, honestly? I've been burned before, though. <laughs> Alright, let's just summon this. Hmm. Do I want another D.Va? I could see going another D.Va. Alright, let's see if it's exactly torrential. Alright, we should just have game here. Oh, you were at fucking shit. We're so stupid. Jesus, what am I doing here? Okay, I should have gone Gilman, probably. But, this might... S nah, this isn't game. Shit. How do I miss game like that? Because I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, that's so... S I can't believe I forgot I normaled in this... When I was playing it out of my head for some reason, it just glossed over. Okay, we have to think. We have... What is this? 13... Plus 23... Is 36... So we have 63 on board here. So there's no way to hit game, unfortunately. God, I did that so wrong. I could have hit game if I had just gone Gilman. For some reason I thought... Yeah, I don't know. Very stupid play by me. Very stupid play. I think we probably still win this game, because we're just so far ahead, but... No reason to miss game there. Like, completely ridiculous. <laughs> completely completely dumb all right so of course they have brain cone again uh 
I think we just say no this time. I'm fine drawing back into Gores. We don't have to respect anything either since we have Stardust. Alright, so we're going to hit him with Rocket, I think. Everything's lethal here. If anything connects, we're good. Okay, they admit defeat. Alright, so we win despite our egregious misplay. Happens kind of often, to be honest. Uh, hmm. We're just going to go with the same thing again. I think take this out. Take both these out. Um, what do we want to put in place of them? Maybe this? I think this card could conceivably good be good just to deal with, like, the stun monsters. Like, okay, so... It's a lot worse without Diva, or without Arma Plague, though. Um, let's see. We could just go back. I think taking out the discard traps might be a mistake. We rely, like, way too much on them in our engine. So let's put them back. Alright. Will we finally not open Accelerator with Rocket? Is that the question? Uh, we have Future Fusion, but Mally's in hand. Cyber Dragon's great. Okay, here I think we just summon Rocket. See what happens. And just attack. Uh, let's make sure we do this this turn. Are they going to let us? Macrocosmos. Okay. So we get to banish two. Which ones do we not want? Tough choice. I think for sure, Ocean. And then, like, Stratos is dead. So. It would be sick if we could draw a return from the different dimension this game. Oh, uh, let's set these. Does this thing even work under Future Fusion? I think it does. Ah, oh, shit. This breaker's annoying me. Um, I think we probably allow it, right? Do we allow it to crash? We don't want it to crash. Uh, we really don't want it to crash. Shoot. Hmm. I think we just allow it, though. Can we Chimera Tech under Macrocosmos? I don't think we can. Well, we found another one. Do I summon it? I think we just pass here. I think we just pass. Maybe I should have kept the Blaze in hand to pitch for Phoenix Wing. Because we don't really want to be banishing our Mali like this. Oh, I forgot to put one counter on this. Someone be sure to let me know if this thing works under macro. I, th I assume it does, but... Because <laughs> it's not for cost. It sends for... Okay, so Abzir is going to come down here. Foolish variable. This should have been sided out. We took out Plague. Do I want to attack with this? Or do, I'm kind of just predisposed to just sit here. Because uh, there's probably a deep prison or something like that set. Hmm. And so long as it's out, they really aren't going to want to put monsters in play. So, like, I don't see the disadvantage to chilling here. All right, they're just gonna compulse it. Ban 
finisher. This is completely redundant. All right, Frost and Flame, very dead at the moment, obviously. I think I might just want to play this now. Might just want to play this now. Yeah, let's do it. If the game will let me. Would not be a match without DB lag, right? All right, there we go. Hmm. Let's attack. Main phase two, let's just tribute set the malicious. We're kind of getting unlucky here because we're drawing a bunch of cards that are dead under macro. I really wish we could find that return. Uh, that's fine. That's also fine. Uh, Phoenix Wing. So, hmm. I think we want to try and bait this back row, if we can. Bait the back row, Phoenix Wing the macro cosmos, and then go Fortress. Now he just allows it. Okay. Hmm. That complicates things. Can bounce. I think if it was bottomless or something, he'd have used it. So uh, let's go for the macro. So we make Fortress Dragon. Any Torrentials. And we set our Phoenix Wing. Man, we need a monster now. Or Return. Return would be so sick. <laughs> Gotta find it though. Okay, we know that's Macrocosmos, right? So, guess we Phoenix Wing the Doom Cow, try to make like a level 5. And then if this is a bottomless, oops. If this is a bottomless, we're just going to lose. <laughs> but I th I'm pretty sure it's macro. Alright, so they're drawing back into Doomcal. They have to set it. They set a new back row. Um, if it's a mirror, we lose, so. Doom Cow's defense is 18. Alright, they need a defeat. Alright, we barely got through that stun marathon, but we did get through it. We won our matches. Uh, the mistakes were still made. Misplays were made. But the deck pulled through. Frost and Flame Dragon, definitively a good deck. I'm skeptical. Uh... I don't think we even summoned it once, honestly, but it's kind of weird because we were up against stun decks. 
two matches in a row, so... It was like we weren't even really playing Yu-Gi-Oh! We were just playing, like, try and survive the, the stun cards and, and whatever, so... But I hope you guys enjoyed the matches anyway. Uh, I think this is a really fun deck. Uh, not sure how good it is, but it's it's fairly alright. It's playable, you know? <laughs> so anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and peace out.